Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I've got another advent calendar unboxing to share with you and it's a boozy one. I've got a gin advent calendar and this is by Drinks by the Dram and this is their 12 Dram premium gin collection. This is kindly gifted to me for free in exchange for showing you and telling you all about it on my channel. Drinks by the Dram invites you to open the doors to discovery with this exceptional collection. Behind each door, you'll find a 30 ml dram of sensational liquid from award-winning distilleries to boutique bottlings. The perfect drinkable gift. This set has been curated to bring you the ultimate spirits experience. So whether you're feeling adventurous or generous, find new favorites, share with friends and discover your spirited side. So to put just this advent calendar it will cost you 39 pound all links and everything related to this advent calendar plus their website so if you're interested in taking a look at any of the others i'll pop it down in my description so underneath this video you'll see show more or a downward arrow if you click that that will bring up my description and all links and everything would be listed down there so i'm not going to be drinking or testing these out now because i'm going to be saving them for december but i am going to open them up and i'm going to show you exactly what's inside each door then i'm going to put them back in so starting from the top i love love these little wax seals they're really really cool so the first gin is by Cairo Distillery Company in Finland and this is Napur Napur and this is 46.3 percent volume there look how cute these bottles are they're really lovely aren't they I was thinking then I couldn't remember from last year whether I had to pull it all off but no you don't you can just you can just twist like that oh that is so nice it's so nice I'm not very good at describing scents, unfortunately. It just smells like a really nice gin. Oh my gosh, I want one now. I want one now. So that's day number one. Number two, working across. I don't want to wreck the box. Ooh, day number one fell out. I think it's Hono Gin. This is Old Tom Gin, and this is 43%. Oh, that is different. That is That smells stronger than the last one. Whew. That is quite strong but i don't think it is i think it's not as strong as the first one but oh see <laughs> yeah it's on my nose i love gin i'm assuming if you're watching this video you are a gin lover too <laughs> or unless you're watching it maybe thinking about buying it for someone maybe so number three over here this is by drinks by the dram and this is number three gin berry bros and rudd and this is a london dry gin and this is 46 percent alcohol oh that smells so nice it's funny isn't it funny you'd think gin is a gin is a gin unless it's a flavored gin <laughs> like a i don't know like pink gin or berry gin whatever but it's not all three have distinct smells they all smell like gin <laughs> This is not good, is it? This is not good. This one is quite a subtle smelling gin, but at 46% volume, that's quite a um, yeah high percentage. <laughs> that's number three. Number four, we got a St. George Spirits Artisan Distillers since 1982. We've got a Terrar gin. Terrar, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Terrar gin, and this is 45%. There, you can have a read. <laughs> you can see what it says. Ooh, that smells like it's got a little bit of a like a menthol smell to it. Oh yeah, just a very very subtle sort of eucalyptusy type smell. Artisan distillers. So that's day number four. Number five, we've got bathtub gin, and this is by Abelforths, and this is forty three point three percent volume. If any of you have tried these premium gin brands, please let me know your thoughts on them. Oh, it's so nice. Doesn't smell of bathtub. <laughs> bathtub, what, what? Bathtub? Why is it called bathtub? Is it made in a bathtub? See, I don't, I don't know. I need to venture out more with my gins, which is why I decided to go for the premium gin. Last year I went for, I can't remember what it is now, but it's still available for this year. It had more flavour gins in it. I thought... No, a lot for this one. A lot for this one to try something a little bit different. So I'm going to have to have my pen to open the next one up. Day number six. This is by Drinks by the Dram. This is Bobby's Shidem Dry Gin. And this is 42% volume. Where do these names come from? I wonder. What is a Shidem? Bobby Shidem. I don't think it says anything here. No. 
Okay, let's have a sniff of this one. This smells like it's got a bit of lemon in it, like lemongrass. Oh, I wonder. The boutique gin company, Drinks by the Dram, might be watching this and going, oh, she hasn't got a clue. She hasn't got a clue. But, hmm, that's lovely. That is really lovely. It's got a slight sort of lemongrass smell to it. Bobby's Shidem Dry Gin. Number seven. I've got another Drinks by the Dram, and this is Tobamori Gin, and this is 43.3% volume there. The Tobamori gin. Oh, mmm. Instantly, that is more like chocolate undertones. <laughs> I don't know. Very, very subtle scents. They are not flavoured gins. Oh, it does. It smells a little bit like chocolate. <clears throat> a little bit like chocolate. So, is that way? Number eight. Oh got a blue one this is drinks by the dram the london number one original blue gin 47 percent i think this is the highest percentage gin in the box so far can you see that it's blue there if i turn that around there so what is 30 mils equivalent to is that equivalent to a shot or a double my husband yawning going down the stairs there what is it with the stronger gins? They have less of a scent. That's what I'm sort of getting at so far. Oh, I just want a tiny bit. I just want to, I just want to try it. There's no little subtle notes there of like lemongrass, chocolate, <laughs> things like that. It just smells like a really, really nice gin. No, I'll do it like that. He's blue. Who's that? Number nine. It's by that boutique gin company and this is Moonshot Gin and 46.6% volume. So Moonshot Gin. <laughs> Ooh, has it got a slight mint smell to it? Oh, I'm not sure. Moonshot Gin though. I don't know. <laughs> Number 10. This is by Conquer Spirit and this is Dorset Dry Gin Spirit Port Barrel and this is 43% alcohol. Slight colour there. Oh, that smells so nice. It smells so like rich. <laughs> it almost smells like, I should, maybe I shouldn't say this, it almost smells a bit like a whiskey. Oh, that is so nice. That is so, so nice. <laughs> Let's do number 10. Number 11, down here. And this is Drinks by the Dram, Papa Republic, Rue Boss, and Grapefruit Gin. And it's 43% alcohol. How do you say that? Rue Boss. Can you see it there? Am I pronouncing that right? <laughs> I'm always wetting my nose. I just want to put my tongue in it. <laughs> I just want to go. Mm. <laughs> I won't, I won't, because maybe my husband might be one of these to have it, and he'd be like, Ugh. Not that he'd really mind, but, yeah. Oh, it smells so nice. It smells so nice. See, again, again, I do it again. <laughs> Day number 11. Oh, number 23. As I've said in other unboxings, when do you open your 12-day calendar? Do you open it on the first day of December, or do you open it up on the 12th day of December? Or do you um, open it up on the 1st and skip a day? Every other day. I might get another one of these. So then my husband and I can... How does that work? We'd still have to take it in turns, won't we? Of uh, sharing one day he will have one. Next day I will have one. All throughout December. Yeah, as opposed to just me getting six of these. Because I have to share them. Anything boozy, I have to share it with my husband. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm, um, I'm talking too much now. So day number 12 or 24, up to you. We have got Drinks by the Dram. This is Four Pillars Rare Dry Gin. And this is 41.8% alcohol there. Oh, that has a different type of smell. Oh, it smells like um, a little bit of aniseed. Mm. So those are all the gins. They're 12 gins in total. They're all premium gins. The cost of this advent calendar is £39. And yeah, they come in these gorgeous little bottles. 
So yeah, so I'm gonna have to put them away now and wait until December when I can have them properly. But as always, I'd love to know your thoughts. Have you bought a boozy advent calendar this year? Or are you wondering if it is for you or not? All your thoughts and opinions I'd love to know, so please comment down below. But I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, it'd be lovely if you give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel for lots more videos to come. So take care and I'll speak soon. Bye.